Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Not specifically, we're going to be looking at the Warlock Stasis subclass. So, I'm going to be doing these first impressions just because I feel like it's important to document what I feel at the moment. Because with the upcoming aspects that I have not gotten yet, which is why this is a first impressions and not a full-blown review. So, if you're going to type down below, like, oh, you haven't even... I know, that's why I'm saying first impressions, not full-blown review. So... We're going to be looking at the subclasses, and honestly, we're just going to be looking at the melee and the grenade. Actually, really, the melee and the super, really, that's it, considering grenades uh, class agnostic, and the, the glide and the rift are really not changed at all yet. So, let's look at the melee and super for the warlocks. Let's talk about melee first, just because I feel like this is probably the most important part for a lot of people. I think it's a little much in PvP. In PvE, it's fine. Uh, doesn't really matter. In PvP, it's an actual problem. And this is coming from the guy who actually leveled his his Warlock first. I've played a bit of PvP now with the subclass. And I gotta say that my melee outshines pretty much everyone else's. It's pretty wild that I can make someone go and like freeze by just one hit. And it's not like, oh, I have to be really close to him. It's, it's essentially top tree solar. I can just throw it and it'll hit someone. I mean, it doesn't have the best tracking, but at the same time, you just have to hit them at the general direction and it'll go to them. And what's wild is it, it's an instant freeze. I I think the best way to, to even it out would be to give it not the ability to freeze in PvP, but give it the ability to slow kind of like how the hunters does it where their first melee just stops them out right the only reason i see them not doing this is because essentially the warlocks would be the only class that can't uh freeze someone which <sighs> i guess i haven't seen or even looked at the titan melee so i can't speak on me on their melee but i have seen obviously the the hunters and they do have two melees so that's probably why they get, get they get away with the slow then the freeze but i just feel like the one hit melee it's it's a little much especially since you know hunters really don't have anything that increases their melee that's class agnostic warlocks do they have claws of ahamkara which essentially put claws of ahamkara plus uh 100 melee or 100 uh strength and the uh the assault rifle ex exotic, I forget, uh, Monte Carlo. You're freezing people everywhere, left and right. It's a little wild to me personally. I don't think a one hit, a one hit ability should freeze people. I think that's just a little wild in my opinion, especially in super. I've seen my melee freeze people while they're in their super. I think that's a little much as well. Uh, Warlocks, chime in if you have some opinion about this. But I, me personally, I just feel like the one hit melee the one hit melee that's like sure granted if this was not a like a throwable thing and it was like you hit them with your staff instead of a ball coming towards you sure i wouldn't have a problem with it but it's the fact that it's a projectile that stops people that's i think that's the biggest issue because for me and this is another video that i'm going to be making i actually don't mind stasis in pvp i didn't i I'm pleasantly surprised that I was not losing my mind. It's actually not that bad. I do think freezing is a little bit like it's it's a little too punishing because even if you do like get yourself out of it, you get yourself into red zone, which means you don't have any shields. It's all just your health. And from there, you're literally like a fart away from dying. So I have a lot a lot of things to say about PvP for stasis, but overall I think it's more positive than the negative. I definitely think that the warlocks have probably one of the better supers definitely better than the titans i know the titans have been complaining about like inconsistencies and whatnot for the warlocks i i don't think you guys i think you guys got the strongest super honestly because not only do does one click of your mouse you throw four volleys of stasis balls that freeze people by the way and is a bit of an aoe but your right click explodes people. So I think I think Warlocks have the strongest 
uh, super with hunter hunters being like close because they have two hits which is basically they they freeze and then they they hit so it's kind of like the same thing but with warlocks it's literally just a duration and hunters is not so i i like the tight i like the hunt or i like the warlock super a lot in pvp it's it's okay uh i do think in pvp the hunters have the stronger uh super just because you can really shut down shit or get a team wipe if uh, the team's being dumb. So, in in PvP, I think the hunters win. But in PvE, I think I think the warlocks are just fucking killing it, dog. Like they're so good. Essentially, pop your super, and you start throwing shards, and then after you see a lot of people froze or frozen, pop your right click, and everything's dead. Essentially, the damage is pretty decent as well. I've killed a few bosses with it, and honestly. Aside from the melee, I think the the Warlocks super is fine. I don't think it's overpowered at all. Uh, I do think, I do think that it kind of sucks that Hunters didn't get a duration super, because if it, I just could have seen the, the like the possibilities. But again, I think that would have been too close to Warlocks, which is why they probably didn't do a duration base. Uh, but honestly, I really don't mind. Uh, I thought I was gonna be more bothered about it, but. Now that I'm like actually playing with stasis and I saw the hunters super, I'm pretty okay with it. Not only that, like I said, we, we haven't even seen the aspects yet. I'm close to getting like the new grenade and another aspect and whatnot. Uh, I really hope that the aspects, like you can actually find them in game, like in the world and not just like, oh, here's a few missions to get all of them. Cause that would really, really shine in my opinion i mean i i know people would bitch about it if it was behind really hard content but i don't know man i don't know yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below warlocks what do you think you guys think your super is powerful from what i've noticed whoever mains what class thinks their super is not strong and other like they just don't see their class as the strongest which is funny to me uh i definitely think the hunters have more one of the more strongest supers for shutdowns in PvP, but for PvE, it's pretty decent. Uh, but we'll talk about that when I start playing my Hunter, which is probably next week, because my Titan's next, and I'm basically leveling up my Hunter last, so he can do the raid. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it, and expect more content because I have a lot coming. So I will see you guys later.